Welcome back. Nick and Lex here. Hey, everyone. How is it going, guys? So today we're super excited. We're g both going to review a song. And which song are we talking about? We are going to be doing a song by the band Scapeland Wish, uh, who contacted us and requested that we do a review of this song. So it's the first song of the album. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> it's called Misty's Cage. Uh, from the album The Ghost of Autumn, which was released in 2003. So um, just to kind of get a feel for what we're doing is we're trying to uh, help Scapeland Wish with word of mouth uh, type of thing. Um, we are going to be honest in the reaction. We know um, a few tracks. Well, Nick does because yes. you did a marathon. I did a marathon for Joshua, Joshua Ramirez. And um, he is the one that requested also this review. And uh, but so I, I am a little bit biased, I guess, already because I did love the band. You know, they're uh, so you do kind of know what to I expect. know what we're getting into. Mm -hmm. I think you you have no idea. I don't. But mm -hmm. I know uh, I don't want to spoil it. I just want to keep your <laughs> mind completely fresh. But um, we do wanted to let you guys know that um, once on... we're done, they're on Prog Archives. Yes. Exactly, Prog Archives, and so we're talking about, just to give you a little bit more, uh, like a better idea, I did songs from Reason, that's from the 2000 mm -hmm. album, and then I did do, I think, did I do anything yes. of this? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. So we have Joshua Ramirez in uh, the lead vocals and percussion, um, Mike Stiskal on bass, keyboards, and backing vocals, and Kevin Forsberg on mm -hmm. guitars. Yeah. Um, so we're very excited about this. We uh, love to share music with all of you, just like you share music with us. We like that to be going both ways, and this is a good way for that to happen. For yeah. at, In this case, more than likely, uh, because they are uh, not as widely known yet, uh, we're discovering this music together. So that's very special yes. uh, with us and our viewers, unless you already know Scapeland Wish. Um, but yeah, we're very excited about this. And thank you to Joshua who reached out, requested this and reached out uh, for us so to do this. The way we're going to do this, we're going to listen to the song like once without any interruption. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to listen to it again, breaking down the sections that we like to comment on. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, I think we're going to give you like a, not a score because we don't do scores, but just like a, you know, a final thought. A final thought. Mm -hmm. So, are you ready? I am super ready. Ready, born ready. All yes. right. So here we go, and enjoy, everyone. Misty's cage.
to open an album. That was wonderful. Right? I have yeah. so much to say. Yeah, I was really like having difficulty because, but then I was like, oh, I'm so thankful that we're going to listen yes. to it again because there's so much to talk about. But mm -hmm. just after the first listen, what do you think? I love it. I think it's... Um, It's, I can hear so many influences mm -hmm. and I can hear so many um, like parallels to this is um, really right up like the Magna Carta people that you always <laughs> mention, you know, like Magellan and yeah, um, yeah. I think you're referring to Marillion. Marillion, yes, Marillion. Yeah. Sorry, um, but it's very. Very good. I loved the voice. Very nice. Very soothing. Um, yeah. The guitar I mean, work was wonderful. Yes. The solos. I think the whole um, the whole song <laughs> had a great opening and then a great middle section. There were what I liked about the middle section so much was that they were letting the music breathe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't just like, <clears throat> and I, I was like, okay, they're gonna come back with a solo, and then they did with this amazing solo mm -hmm. and the harmony part, and then the voice comes back. So it was just, it just felt so professional. Yes, it just feels like almost like I'm listening to Rush, mm -hmm. but it's a different band. Mm -hmm. It's also a trio, but it's like it just had, like you said, a little bit of everything that we like. You know, mm -hmm. Marillion, I think. They were compared to Marillion because of the voice. Mm -hmm. The vocalist has a very similar voice, but um, I think they have a little bit of jazz fusion. The bass and the you know the, the bass, bass and the drums are super cool. tight. Yeah, the keyboard is just there, very cool, and the chords as well. And it wasn't too heavy. I think this is great progressive rock that is very digestible mm -hmm. and very well paced and composed Absolutely. yeah so i think it's just like i i guy i i mean if i can if you're listening to this or watching this you guys definitely have to go back to the studio because <laughs> yeah, you guys are like already like you know you guys this was 20 sound years amazing ago, yeah so <laughs> please yeah. please give us <laughs> another album you know <laughs> no but honestly you know this is not because like I would be totally honest if this sucked. If you've seen some reactions, mm -hmm. where I'm like, I'm sorry, but I'm I would never yeah. listen to this. I would totally buy this or or just have it on my playlist. Yeah, this is a I'm great excited music. to add this to our uh, playlist and mm -hmm. have it come on in the car so I can yeah. listen to it again. I I feel like I do when I listen to, for example, Porcupine Tree. That I'm like wow, this is great. You know, mm -hmm. the arrangement is wonderful. It sounds very, like the quality of the recording is very good. Um, everyone just sounds like they're very in tune with each other. Mm -hmm. So it it's wonderful. I'm excited that we're going to do another listen mm -hmm. and kind of like break, break it down. It but down. I didn't want to like break <laughs> it down on the first reaction because, you know, it's just like, If this is a review, then I really want to take it in as a whole. Yes. And now we can like chop, chop it up it. In the, mm -hmm. into bits and say. But um, yeah, we're going to take a little a break because mm -hmm. of Alexia's back, but we'll be right back okay. with you guys. All right. And we're back from a break and we were literally talking about the song and the band <laughs> while Alexia was stretching. And, and uh, we were like, I, I wish they would release their other album as yes. well on Spotify. I don't know. Sometimes it's because So it's copyrights. the earlier album called Reason from 2000. That's not on, on Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. But I think it's on YouTube though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cause Prague archives had it listed under discography and how cool that they're on there. They are labeled as Neo Prague, which makes sense. You know, that's exactly mm. what I yeah, like maybe. think of, I think because it doesn't sound like, 70s no prog it sounds no. like prog but newer. it sounds like the stuff that we listen to you know like it does sound a little bit like an iq mm -hmm. or there is um i mean we mentioned marillion but marillion is that band from the 80s right the mm -hmm. marillion that sounds a little bit like peter gabriel the mm -hmm. voice Another band that it reminded me of is a little bit of Enchant. Oh, okay. Right? Mm -hmm. The voice. Yep. I don't know. Uh, Joshua's voice. Yes. Very good vocals. Very I love that he 
he does play with the vocals. It's mm-hmm. not just like one tone. And but well, we'll Let's now give we'll it listen another to listen. it, and we'll break it down. Mm-hmm. We'll stop like maybe however m- four, much five, we six need times. To. Yeah. But yeah, so here we go. Okay, just the intro. So pay a little bit of attention because here I literally was like going to say, I wanted to say this when we started. It sounds a little bit like Alice in Chains later Mm -hmm. in about like two minutes. But I love the intro. I love, I've always loved when you can hear the, the, of the shifting of the, yeah, yeah, switching chords. uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always loved that. There was, uh, there were several songs that I would listen to that were acoustic and I, every (laughs) time that would happen, it would make my heart happy. So I love that it started with that. And his voice just comes in so angelical, so mm-hmm. easy, so smooth, you know? It, it, it automatically greets you like, this is going to be okay. Yeah, yeah me <laughs> You're too. You're going to be okay. Yeah, that's how <laughs> I felt as well. Okay, let's continue. like this little grungy vibe yes. but not too much right but it could be you know yeah. something like pearl jam mm-hmm. Alice in Chains. but this chord progression that what i love that it's arpeggiated and it is not just like the typical and the chords are a little bit more complex than just major and minor okay i don't know exactly what they are but you can just hear that they're a little bit interesting i love how the bass comes in mm-hmm. with the drums and yep. doo-doo, doo-doo, boom. Yes. That sounds a little bit like Alice in Chains, from, which is very positive yes. for me. Yes, yes, yes. Right? Mm-hmm. first heard this that lake was really cool yes mm-hmm. like very nice not too much just perfect amount of you know guitar yeah and it's just it just happened once so that's kind of cool i was waiting for that lake again but that's what makes a song special that's like, oh, I'm going to repeat this <laughs> this little yeah. bit of song. Yeah. yeah, and I love the backing vocals. Very, mm-hmm. very good. I love everything. It, it's it's wonderful, and I like that we can constantly pause. Nobody's you know? going to bust our balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs>
Very cool chorus mm -hmm. here. Like a little bit, the chords are a little jazzy, mm -hmm. right? Did you feel that little yes, like absolutely. tension there? Mm -hmm. Really cool. I loved it. And you can also stop. You know, I'm not. I don't want to be the one who stops. <laughs> Just uh, stop with the oh, space uh, one. Okay. 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 cool here this dun 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 sounds very dream theater-ish mm -hmm. the way he's picking the chords like he's choosing like specific notes okay. and let them he lets them ring but did you notice that he's singing downwards is the only way that i know Upward. upwards is the one that i want to go. go and mm -hmm. that's the thing that happens when we on the first listen you don't pay attention to the mm -hmm. lyrics you can't yeah it's too much especially when Something like this that's more progressive. But yes. I think now comes the section that I love the most where they it's an instrumental section and they just let themselves breathe. Everybody has their fills, mm -hmm. their little moments. I'm um, trying to remember if there was a keyboard solo or no, not. No. Um, because I do remember the first time thinking like, oh, I, I would love it if I would get to hear more of the keyboards. Oh, Joshua? So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe there's one. I uh, think Joshua does the guitar, vocals, and percussion. No, he does vocals, keyboard, and let's see. I'm sorry. Let's see. We had it right here. Whoops. Sorry. Yeah. Like from the top there. Okay. Keyboards and backing vocals is Mike, I think. Yeah. Mike does bass, keyboards, and backing vocals. Oh, bass and <clears throat> keyboards. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like, the, like Getty. Yeah, that could be why it's more challenging, maybe, to add oh, a little so bit. So Joshua more. does the drums and sings. Right. So vocals oh. and percussion, and then okay. bass, keyboards, and backing vocals is Mike, and then Kevin is guitars. Guitar. So. Okay. Very cool. I'm loving it. I. I'm excited for this part yeah, to yeah, pay closer attention. Yeah.
because look that we had some fields mm -hmm. very soothed like mm -hmm. very relaxed and some bass parts doo -doo 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 -doo, some we had some lines there bass lines we had the drums bum, 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 mm -hmm. doing some fills very cool solo it reminded me a little bit of i think you, she loves guthrie <laughs> uh and then his tone That's guthrie guven Govin, Govin. I, I always said like Guthrie Govin for years. Yeah, me too. So Guthrie Govin style, like very cool guitar. I love that harmony part. Mm -hmm. And now they're going into another section. Yes. And then comes the guitar solo and then the outro. This but was very juicy though. Was, I remember <sighs> the first time we heard this. Um, this part, this guitar is wonderful, very juicy, very warm. Mm -hmm. Um very melodic and just expressive you know and i notice yeah. what you mean now about letting it breathe it's very yeah. during letting there's no pressure no, there's no everybody like, was like hey to squeeze as much as no, i can no no no. <laughs> i think they were just like hey you know everybody let's play yes you know let's yes. breathe i let, like let, that. let's the music mm -hmm. breathe like i think it was fantastic yes okay let's go like the way did you did you notice the way they were like it was more tense and tense and they yeah. were adding tension and tension mm -hmm. and tension that's what i was to gonna say that, that rep that part that was like repeating itself a little bit felt like it was just 
building, building up, up and then to what was about to happen. This, which is the solo, which yes. basically released all that tension. Yes. And I love how he came in with the guitar and then the dual guitar. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was the keyboard or it was just him overdubbing uh, in thirds, like mm -hmm. the Iron Maiden sound. Oh, you know? okay. Beautifully played. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that outro deserves... Yes. An award. Absolutely. Very, very coolly played. And then the chorus came back in. Just the way the song ends is it's on a high note yeah. and ready for the second song. I think yeah. this song is, I mean, the band has so much potential. Just with this one song, mm -hmm. I'm like very, very happy. And I, I remember that when I first reviewed this, the other five songs for Joshua, I was very happy with the result. That's and I wish, awesome. I just wish there was a way to get it out there more. But now I think Let's we have double the subs. Yes. So we had. Uh, that, thank you very much for that, because um, it is very important for us to say that, um, you know, because we like this, uh, we want to make sure that it gets out there. So please share it with your friends and family. Uh, you know, to do this, we are obviously including links in the description. Please support the band, follow them the on their social media, buy the record. Yeah, don't listen to them on Spotify. I mean, buy the record. Yes. That really helps the yes, band. exactly. And because and Spotify literally, like, we have a friend who's literally a guitar player for Aldi Miola, and he's like, I get checks that are negative. Yeah, like owing so money. I so I owe money because I have my music on Spotify. So if you're going to listen to this, buy the record. Yes, exactly. And support the band, uh, you know, share them. And sometimes if we do these uh, band reviews uh, or song reviews for bands, we're still going to share their links, even though we might have not loved it as much as we did this because who knows maybe you'll like them or your neighbor will like them or mm -hmm. someone you know might be into them so please share this band it's it's a it's a treat uh that someone who has this much talent watches us and listens yeah. to us and decided to um you know use us to try to get the word out there yeah. so it's an honor to be able to do that because this was a piece of music up there with what we listened to yeah. you know we listened to the big ones we're genesis, about to listen to Rush, genesis right now and Dream i feel Theater, like yeah okay I mean, it really is up there <laughs> with quality i love the recording the production mm -hmm. you can just hear that there was love put into this exactly. project and i hope you guys are thinking of getting the band back together you know <laughs> Because even when Alexia was like, we were out there, it's like, wow, it's been 20 years. And, you know, like yeah. we were thinking about things, you know, that you could be thinking about. Right. Like maybe we're going to do a new album. Why not? You know, I, I hope you are. And I wish you guys the best. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, also for other bands, we are very honest. So, you know, if there's something that we wouldn't like, we would totally right. talk about it, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but, you know. That's just the way um, we were just very lucky to get very good music. Yes, you know, to exactly. Review. So but please uh, follow the links in the description for information about the band. We'll include uh, everything that we're able to, to gather. Um, and yes, please support them. This was Scapeland Wish from the album The Ghost of Autumn. So uh, thank you to Joshua Ramirez. Kudos to uh, Mike and Kevin as well. You yes, guys are awesome. Amazing. Uh, wonderful musicianship the way you guys work together is just wonderful we hope like nick said that more is coming so thank you everyone for joining us and we hope to see you all in the next one thank you guys bye everyone bye.